Hello, in preparation for the uh, product design training that we are going to have in October 28, I decided to make this small video tutorial showing you how to create a studio setup with two rectangular lights. I have this scene here, so it's three cups. Uh, my intention is to make this kind of render so we have some reflections in this area and um, these reflections is defining the shape of my glass and also I have another reflections in the other side of my glass to define the other side of my shape um, also my uh, have three material three rubber material but we are not going to talk about uh, material, we are going to talk about illumination. So going back to Rhino, I want to change the default setting. And the first thing that I'm, I'm going to do is just disable the batch render. I'm going to enable the low thread priority and disable the hidden lights in my global switches. The second series of changes that I'm going to do is on the output, increase the output 800 by 600 and also select get view aspect in order to have the same um, radio of my viewport and in the uh, irradiant maps I want to reduce the quality of my irradiant map just for the training uh, proposed so minus one and minus six usually I use minus four in my minimum rate and minus one for final production render but for this training for this video I'm going to use minus 6 and minus 1 um, I want to point out that the DMC or the, the Terminist Monte Carlo in the in the secondary engine control I can control how many bounces I have in my secondary engine my secondary bounce um, if we have three uh, bounces we are going to have more illumination um, I can lo lose some details so I want to reduce I usually do that in product design I want to reduce the secondary bounds to two and also or even one if you need more uh, details but for now I'm gonna use two in my secondary bounds to limit my secondary bounces to two bounces. And the next step is just create the studio setup. I want to create a basic studio setup. So I want to start with the floor. I'm going to create a shape like that, like an L. And I want to extrude my line into in both sides. And my next step is to create a radio in this shape, in this corner. So I'm going to use like 7 in my radio, or just a little bit more set all like 10 right so this is my floor from my studio setup I want to create a new material so I have the new material called floor so it's white I'm going to apply my floor material to my um, geometry so apply material to object The next step is create the light. 
I need two light, two rectangular light to define, as I said before, the shape of my cups. So I want to define this area and the other side. So I want to create two light in the opposite position. So I'll click rectangular light and create one big rectangular light. I create this big rectangular light because I want to be sure that get the reflections everywhere in my in my glass just from the top to the bottom so I need the uh, a nice reflections in this area I want to rotate a little bit the light because I want to define the front area of my cup so I don't want to get too much reflection in my size so I just want reflection in this area here and I want to make some changes in my light setting so the first uh, change is disable not decay to have a real world effect also I want to use store with irradiant maps these options allow me to use the irradiant maps to calculate the light in this way you can improve or decrease the render time so enable these options and I'm used to uh, make my light invisible and the multiplier I want to use 4 I want to make a middle of that scene of that light in the other side and change the color to a bluish color reduce the intensity to 3 or even 2 um, I'm going to let the other uh, setting like that. My next step is just create my render to see what we have. Again, I have one light defining this area and other lights defining the other area. Also, my background color is black by default, so I'm going to have a nice black reflections in my studio. So I'm going to click render and pause the video. I want to point out something in this render. You can see here the sample that I'm drawing. This sample is drawn by the by the minimum rate. So I have minus six. That means that I will not throw too many samples in the large area. Those colors are very uh, similar. And that's why B-Ray don't throw uh, too many samples there. And this is what I need in order to improve or to decrease the render time. So if you don't waste the sample, throwing too, too many samples uh, in this area that the color is even, and maybe you can calculate the same uh, areas with one sample like this one. This sample, I'm using this sample to calculate a very large area because the color are very close, are very similar. So minus six allow you to throw less samples and decrease the render time. This is the final render that I get with the with my setting or with my light. Um, one thing that I love to do is just uh, correct the colors. Here, make a curvature correction here uh, to improve the contrast and the quality of my render. So right now, just by uh, making this using the curve color corrections, you can improve a little bit the render and the contrast. So this is uh, the concept that I want to show you today. Remember, you have to use a rectangular light to define the shape of your object of what you want to render and apply really good material create nice material nice studio uh, floor and you can render a product shot like this one very easy okay so hopefully you can enjoy this video and see you next time bye bye